You're awake. You've the God's own luck, Letheline. You're back at camp. Everyone is worried sick about you. How do you feel? Worried. Where's Tamlin? I don't know. The Shem who brought you here saw no sign of him. Okay. At this point, it we were in the cave, so I don't remember anything. I was in a cave, then nothing. He was a Grey Warden and appeared out of nowhere with you slung over his shoulder. You were delirious with fever. He said that he found you outside a cave in the forest, unconscious and alone. He left you here and ran off again. The Keeper's been using the old magic to heal you. Okay, um... Is anyone looking for Tamlin? Of course. Most of the hunters are off looking for him right now. But the Keeper wanted to talk to you as soon as you awoke. Stay here. I'll get her. I see you are awake, Dalan. It is fortunate Duncan found you when he did. I know not what dark power held you, but it nearly bled the life from you. It was difficult even for my magic to keep you alive. Okay. What happened to us? I know only that the Grey Warden found you in front of a strange cave, sick and alone. Duncan thought there may have been darkspawn creatures inside the cave. Is that true? Okay, the darkspawn was the thing we seen Duncan fighting beginning, of course, and we did not see any of those within there. Mm. Let's just say there are walking corpses and other strange monsters. Walking corpses? Dark magic, but not dark spawn. I know not what the other creatures might have been. What else did you find? What is the last thing you remember? <laughs> Didn't Duncan mention a mirror? Okay. A mirror and Tamlin touched it. A mirror. And it caused all this? I have never heard of such a thing in all the lore we have collected. Oh, I was hoping for answers when you woke. But there are only more questions. And Tamlin remains missing. He is more important than any lore in these ruins. If he is as sick as you were, his condition is grave. Duncan returned to the cave to search for Darkspawn. But we cannot rely on him to look for Tamlin as well. We must go ourselves, and quickly. Do you feel well enough to show us the way, Dalin? Without you, we will not find it. Oh, come on, of course. Um, can I simply describe the way? All right, I'm up to it, Keeper. I feel fun. I am relieved to hear it. I am ordering the clan to pack the camp so we can go north. Take Merrill with you to the cave. Find Tamlin if you can, but do it swiftly. All right. Let's... I'm thinking option three or four. Go ahead and three. Are you not interested in the runes in here? I would be lying if I said I was not. But whatever knowledge lies in that cave is not worth our children. I send you back with hopes of finding Tamlin, and that is all. All right. Why take Meryl? Meryl knows a degree of my magic. Tamlin's chances okay. of surviving the journey back are greater with her help. I also wish for Meryl to see this cave and mirror. She has a sense for these things and could shed light on the nature of this illness. Okay. Yeah, doesn't that risk Meryl getting ill? You recovered, and Meryl will too. Still, be careful. Should you come upon this strange mirror again, do not touch it. Alright, take Meryl to the cave and find Tamlin. I understand. Go quickly. 
For Tamlin's life hangs in the balance. I, sh I probably could have did the other one. Um. Questions about the Grey Warden. And Tamlin's life is at stake? Oh, very well. So I think we can just go through each of these, so I'll start from the top. I thought the Grey Wardens had disappeared. Not quite, Dalen. After they defeated the Darkspawn long ago, the Grey Wardens' numbers diminished greatly over the centuries. It seems the humans have little use for them if Darkspawn aren't actively raising their lands. I suppose the thought of Darkspawn returning one day did not occur to them. Have they returned? The Grey Warden thinks so. A war may be in the offing. If so, we must get as far away from it as possible. Okay, could we not help? Let the humans fight their battles, as we must fight our own. Okay, why did you believe anything he said? He seemed honorable, and his care for your safety speaks well of him. I trust my judgment. How do you know where to he bring said me? he'd been looking for our clan and had a hint of our whereabouts. As I said, you were fortunate. It is possible he sought a volunteer to join their order. Have Dillis joined these Grey Wardens before? Indeed. The Grey Wardens once consisted of the best from all races. I know of no Dalish joining them since the days of the Darkspawn Wars, however. What if he asks for one? It would be a great honor, though I don't know why any Dalish would choose such a life. Regardless, he has not asked. Are these Wardens great warriors? They are the best and most noble of all races, Dalen. Few can achieve their standards. No more questions then about do not the wardens. Tarry. Find Tamlin quickly. Ask about the dark spawn. Remember that Tamlin needs your help. <laughs> All right. Didn't the Grey Wardens destroy the dark spawn long ago? They destroyed the last horde of dark spawn to threaten the surface centuries ago. It doesn't mean they extinguished them all. And you think this cave was a dark spawn? are savage, uncultured creatures. More akin to locusts than men. They may have befouled the cave, but they did not build what is there. From the Warden's description, it may have been a temple devoted to an old god. Should we return, I may see it for myself. Why did the Grey Warden think I had met a Darkspawn? Darkspawn are filthy, diseased beasts that taint the very air around them. The Grey Warden seemed to think your illness came from this taint. Since you did not meet any Darkspawn, I don't see how that could be. No doubt he was mistaken. What is Darkspawn exactly? I've never seen one before. They are mostly boogeymen, used to frighten human children. In modern times, they are rarely seen on surface lands. But rumor holds the great numbers dwell in the ancient tunnels of the Durganlan, the dwarves. They obliterate all that is in their path. Like a plague of locusts, they spread disease and misery when they come to the surface. An event to be feared, without doubt. Could that bear-like monster have been Darkspawn? Hmm. The old tomes say Darkspawn come in as many varieties as surface creatures. They also say that many Darkspawn are seen only during what the humans call a blight. Perhaps your bear monster was one of those. No more questions about the dark spawn. And do not tarry. Find Tamlin quickly. All right, we are in need of more equipment. Master Island can help you. Go to him and ask to see his stock. It's good to see you healthy. We feared you would perish. Another bow. Bows forever here. Okay, that looks blocked. The Dreadwolf. That you dedicated the Elven. Okay. Elven Wolf. Um, I know how to go through some things that you like find codecs of in the game. I 
and I can't exactly remember what it's supposed to be. Are you going to help look for Tamlin? Oh, poor boy. Lost somewhere out there. Is Tamlin dead? Everybody says he's not coming back. But yeah, as I mentioned before, I'm not actually going to go into the codex themselves. I shall do it. That's hours and hours of gameplay right there, even. Is the Keeper sending you back to that cave to look for Tamlin? Yep, I'm going with Meryl. I want to go with you. Keeper Marathari probably won't approve, but I can help find Tamlin. I'd say all right, come. Good. I'll follow you. Just to make sure Meryl doesn't go running to the Keeper when you tell her I'm coming. All right. We'll have someone else with. Scroll. City dwelling else. It's good to see you healthy. We feared you would perish. So you have returned to us, Dalen. We are grateful you're whole and well. I'm glad to be here as well, Heron. So you should be. What were you two thinking, wandering into that cave without first coming to tell the Keeper? Well, I recommended it. Yeah, Tamlin insisted we go inside. Tamlin's idea, huh? And you've no mind of your own. I suppose your youth can be forgiven. Sadly, Tamlin pays the price. Losing you would be a terrible crime, Dalen. You belong to more than just yourself, or do you not remember? What do you mean? Let us tell these children of the fall of the Dales. You can honor me by sharing in the telling. All right, let's do it. Come then. Help me as I go along. Children, hear of the fall of the Dales. Hear the tale of what makes you Dalish. Would you care to begin, Dalen? <laughs> All right. Long ago, we were slaves to the humans. Yes. Slaves to a terrible empire. The humans built on the darkest magic. When it fell, we became free. We built a homeland in the Dales, worshipping the creators and rebuilding the culture and history we lost in our long years of slavery. Humans wouldn't let us they speak. were resentful because we would not worship their gods and because we put our people first over the years their nations grew cold toward the Dales in their eyes we were blasphemers and cruel tyrants Wow okay and the humans declared war on the Dales. And so the Dales fell. They took our lands and dispersed our people, forcing us to live in their cities and abandon our gods. But many of us refused to relinquish our ways. We instead chose to scatter to the winds, wandering the lands. We chose to wander the lands rather than the human rule. To survive and preserve our culture. The clans stay apart until the day the Elvenon have a homeland once more. We shall return the old ways to those who have lost them. We are the Dalish, keepers of the lost lore, walkers of the lonely path. We're the last Elvenon. Never again shall we. Thank you nah, for your forbearance. Never again shall we Elven. submit. You remember both the tale and the oath of the Dales perfectly. I will let you get back to your tasks. I pray you find Tamlin quickly. Let's let's just get some more info. I'd like to hear more of her history. Now that's something I rarely hear. Of course. Tell me about Arlathon. Ah, yes. The lost city. Before the Shemlin enslaved us. Even before they came to this part of the world, our people lived in glorious Arlathan. Legends say that our ancestors were immortal. 
and we possessed magic the Shemlin could only dream of. Do you know books to record our history? When the humans enslaved us, they took away our language, our history, and our immortality. We quickened to the pace of life and retained nothing of ourselves. We were slaves for so long that even when we became free, there was little for us to recover. If books still exist, I do not know of them. It's a long time to be an enslaved race. Why do the Shems allow us to exist if they hate us so much? Perhaps they have no choice. Dalish clans are scattered to the winds and rarely gather, which makes us difficult for any organized effort to destroy. And why bother? We have nothing they want. No land, no treasure. And we always move on, allowing no one to grow too angry with us. Some might see this as cowardly, but we are proud. We are the last, and we will survive. Okay, what happened to the elves who didn't join the Delish? They remain in human cities, forgetting all they once had. We call them flat ears, for they differ little from their Shemlin masters. A few may return, but we must accept that they know nothing of the lore, or why we keep it. Do you think we'll ever find another homeland? We can hope to find a new home one day. Where the Dalish and the Flat Ears will build a land greater even than Arlathan. We shall teach the Flat Ears the lore they lost. And perhaps they will teach us to understand the Shemlan at last. That is the only way we shall truly live in peace. All right. Then I'm sure you have much to do, unless you've other questions. Uh, that we do. What do you know of the Great War? The one who brought you back? Very little. He seemed decent enough as humans go. As for Grey Wardens, they're heroes without a doubt. Members of our own clan joined their ranks in ages past. All right, yeah, we heard all the races took part in. Okay, what do Only you know of Darkspawn? Only living flesh and lurk in underground tunnels once ruled by the Durgenlen, the dwarves. In the last blight long ago, the Grey Wardens all but wiped them out. Should they return, all races will shudder. Did we ever live in caves? I've never heard of such a thing. But in the days of ancient Arlathan, we lived free and spread far across the continent. We were as varied as the Shemlin, though fewer in number. Perhaps some of us lived in caves then, but all knowledge from that era is lost. All right, that is all. Of course. May the gods guide your path, Dalen. Is Tamlin dead? Everybody says he's not I'm coming back. I'm glad you survived. Losing two of our young would be a great blow to the clan. A book over here. History of Ferelden, Chapter Two. Not possible to pick. Huh. Arlath in part one. Carthead represents Elgarnon. Elgarnon, something like that. There's no way I'm gonna read any of those to pop up like that. So I'm gonna stop even trying. It's just too fast. I'm glad you survived. Losing two of our How young would be a be great lost? blow to the clan. He knows this area well. Marin? Anathara, it's good to see you recovered. Yeah, how are the Halifarin? They fare well. The Keeper called for the clan to move on, and they will be ready to take this. One is heavy with calf, but it shouldn't be a problem. May I ask of Tamlin's fate? Some say the clan will leave before we find him. We're gonna find him. The Hala mourn our fallen. No sound is more heart-wrenching than their mourning cry. At least they won't be crying over you. They are quite fond of you. Okay. The Hala are beautiful creatures. I admire them for their strength and pride. They are equals, not servants like the Shemlin horses. 
At any rate, I do not envy the Keeper's decision. I'll pray for Tamlin's safe return. Mother of Hala. Very well. Aravels, that's referring to these. Search parties have been looking for Tamlin since the Grey Warden brought you back. No luck so far. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. Search parties have been looking for Tamlin since the Grey Warden okay. brought you back. There's Meryl. We'll no wait on talking to her. It shall be done. About the Dales. Can I get through here? No, I can't. Let's go back over here. Okay, talk to them. Can we trust this Grey Warden? How do we know he didn't hurt Tamlin? No reason would he have. Right, there's it part two. More Dalish boots. Islands who we're supposed to talk to for uh, gear. Uh, hello there. I don't think we've met. Ah, How it's good you're well. You Dale's... weren't here when Paul arrived, were you? I've oh, heard of you. Okay, never mind. Everyone is talking about you and the other missing hunter. A Grey Warden brought you back here. I was gonna say, how would he not know? <laughs> you know, we're all in the same camp here. Oh yeah, he doesn't have the face tats. Uh, hunter's name's Tamlin. I hope you find him soon. Paul's a flat ear. He arrived here a few days ago from the human lands. I heard rumors in a nearby human village that a Dalish camp was close, and I hope to find your hunters in the forest. You were fortunate I didn't shoot you, Paul. I thought you were a Shem, an abandoned at that. You're not the first city elf to rejoin his people. I'm sure he'll find life among us more satisfying than with the Shems, if no less harsh. In the alienage, we hear terrible stories about the Dalish. They aren't true, right? I guess it depends on the stories. Only the parts where we sacrifice young elves to the gods. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'd just say you know, prove yourself useful. Clown will I'll be your do home. my best. I hope they, we, find your missing friend very soon. There we go. You're already figuring it, it out. It's good to meet you. Perhaps I'll get to hunt with you someday. What are the human cities like? You've never been to a city? Surely you've at least visited a town. Uh, we occasionally trade with the Shemlin in small villages, but only a few in the clan can undertake that task. I can't imagine never having seen a city. It's crowded, with buildings all squeezed together. There are people everywhere, and it always stinks. And elves live with the Shemlin? Only if they're servants. Most of us live in a part of the city called an alienage, separated from the humans by walls. That's where all the poorest folk live. Laborers, dockhands, and thieves. And that's if you're lucky. Doesn't much sound like freedom. We don't think about it like that. To most folks, that's just how it is. Do all from the city learn to fight or shoot a bow? Andraste's mercy, no. No one is allowed to walk around with any weapon. Fighting just gets you arrested. And I've never had to leave the city before. Much less learn how to hunt. Learning everything now, then. Alright, we here see elves don't know what it means to be elven. Well, back in the city, we hear the same about you. Stories about Dalish bandits attacking people for no reason. We would never resort to banditry. I'm just saying that's what we hear. And it's elves who say these things too, not humans. Hmm. Yeah, they just don't know. Humans have told them. Even if they did, I honestly don't think most of them would want to leave. 
wandering and hunting doesn't sound like much of a life. <laughs> At least they would live as free men, and as equals. Maybe. But to most elves I know, the only difference between them and humans is how much coin they have. Coin is the great equalizer, not living free. Let's find out why he left. I got into trouble for stealing. I'm not a thief. We just never really had a choice. Mother was a maid, and I was lucky if I could get work at the docks. You make a living however you can, right? When Mother died, I got drunk and was caught picking a guard's pocket. They were going to hang me, but I escaped and, well, here I am. Mm. Yeah, you won't have to resort to that anymore. I'll do my best to adjust and fit in. I never dreamed you'd be so welcoming. I thought at best you might hide me for a bit. <laughs> I'm glad I was wrong. All right, go ahead and go. Of course. I hope to see you again. I'm training Paul. He'll have to learn how to handle that bow quickly. God of crap. Very well. Where is that chest? Okay, yeah, down here. I didn't go to. I talked to that one. Okay, we do need a home. About this dude. What'd he come with? Got the longbow version of what uh my bow is, rapid aim. Why do we have to leave again? We're always going somewhere. Why can't I go to the Shem City? Losing Tamlin would be a bad sign. He's one of our most promising hunters. I'm glad you survived. Losing two of our young Heard would that. be a great blow to the crowd. By the creators, it is so good to see you whole and well. I was so worried. Mm. You really shouldn't worry. I can't help it, dear. I've raised you since your poor mother died. I've been outside the Keeper's tent the whole time. I have never been so relieved as when I heard you would pull through. What happened? Everyone says Tamlin may be dead. He's missing, that's all that's we know. Awful. He's been a good friend to you since you were fledglings. You must be more careful. Your mother and father, may they rest in peace, would be horrified to see you take such risks. Never spoken to my parents much, uh, Shelley. What happened to them is a sad tale, and it's in the past. Reopening old wounds benefits no one. Hmm, persuade. Don't we dare strive to learn of our past? You've much to do tonight, with Tamlin still missing. I will tell you another time. That's right, I forgot. That's something I'll have to... Where was that? Okay, top. Coercion. This is something I definitely want to work on. Forgotten about it. It's gonna be my big focus. I don't wanna get into a spot where I won't have the persuasion. I think if you don't have it, it won't even show up. I could be wrong on that. Have you fully recovered? I heard the keeper was confounded, that she had never seen any. Just be able to sell a bunch of this stuff. Anything like it? All right, let's go talk to Island. I'm glad you've recovered. Once we find Tamlin, we can concentrate on the journey northward. Thank you for the bow, Master Island. It is light and sturdy, much better than the one I made last year. You are more than welcome. My father made it and used it in battle against the Clane tribes. I will carry it with honor. ask you for a bow as well. One of my own crafting, perhaps? 
Yes. You definitely use a better bow. Everyone has a better bow than me. It may not have a history, but you'll provide one for it soon enough, yes? Okay. I'd like to hear the story of your father's battle. And I am proud to tell it. Our clan was one of the first to flee the Dales. When we came to Ferelden, the fiercest of the Shimlin were the barbarians known as the Clane. We didn't wait for them to attack us. Every Dalish clan in Ferelden united to bring the battle to them. Yeah, we attacked them first. They were barbarians without honor. They would have slain us without a second thought. The ensuing battle went well for us. That day, we carved out our reputation of being the deadliest archers. Our arrows won us the right to wander these woods at will. It was this very bow that my father used that day. Thank you for the tale, Master Island, and especially the bow. I will honor its history. That's something. Must respect him a lot to give him that bow. Yeah, why would you relinquish? Such a relic. We are all the same clan. His hand is as my hand. I have relinquished nothing. Okay, yeah. It was my father who first spoke of the Vir Tanadal, the three ways of the hunter. The first is the Vir Asan, the way of the arrow, to reach for our goal unrelenting. The second is the Vir Borasan, the way of the bow, to bend, but not to break. The last is the Vir Adelen, the way of the wood. We are as ancient as the forests, each tree a part of the greater land. All Dalish are united in this. One day, we shall have a homeland again. All right, let's see of what course. we have. Take whatever you need. Oh, wow. Jeez. Okay, so that is a boat. It could be used for much later in the game. It's actually really, really nice. Tier 7. Um, obviously, I won't get any use out of it since it's not the origin I'll be running. Oh, that's right. First, I actually don't think I can even put that on anyway. Yeah. I need more strength. How did I get that? Did I just start out with it? It might be something I get for one of the versions of the game I have. Just ah, go ahead and back again. Of course, take whatever you need. Let's see what we can use. Okay, definitely need some more. again of course take whatever you need get rid of that okay what armor you have for me get on the helm got the gloves we got the boots a little bit of better armor but need strength um really need anything but I'll just go ahead and get those no I get yeah I'll get two at least okay I think that's it should be good otherwise 
Uh, actually, what do you have? You guys have rabbit. So I'm going to keep that one off so he can use his skills easier. Uh, we need this. Ranged. Uh, I need him to use... Let's just go enemy. Any. Use penning shot. Because I got his thing activated anyway. Alright. Um, let's go to Merrill. And get going. The Keeper told me I'm to accompany you back to those caves. As her apprentice, I may see something you missed. But our main objective is to find Tamlin, of course. We must make haste. He may not have much time. Okay, aren't you worried about getting sick? A little, but the Keeper cured you. How dangerous could it be? Even if I get sick, finding Tamlin or something valuable will be worth it. Alright. Um, Veneril is coming with us. Any objections? That depends on the Keeper. I thought we are supposed to go alone. Ah, Lia did ask. She's fine with it. What? I don't believe you. Are you trying to get me into trouble with the Keeper? I should decide whether I'm willing to risk it or not. Go tell the Keeper that, then. Mm. I'm Just not making works. the Keeper angry with us for putting him in danger. Go ask her first. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, I think if I'd actually built up coercion, I would have been able to do it. That's what I should have done. But I completely forgot that the skill was right there. I see you have not left with Meryl yet. Is there something you need? Uh, I want to bring Fenrel with us. Fenrel? Are you certain? I'm already putting Merrill at risk. I don't want to lose you, too. I want to help, Keeper. If we can find Tamlin, it's worth the risk. Very well, then. You have my permission. And thank you for asking for it. Okay. Let's head on back over. No, why can't I get in? I'm going to ch check this real quick. Why can't I get in this chest? I'm really curious. This just says not possible to pick, so why is it there? You return again, Dalen. What can I do for you? Of course. Nothing. Hmm. Maybe you come back after. Very odd for that chest to be there. You're back. Are you ready to go now? Uh, let's see. How much of our lore do you know? Less than I'd like to. I know some of our old magic, as the Keeper does, and I'll know about these relics if I see them. The Keeper isn't sending me to collect anything, however. We're worried about Tamlin. Okay. So how much did the Keeper Enough tell to you? Keep my interest and my concern. You can explain the rest on the way. All right. Let's go ahead and go. What about Fenerel? You didn't think I'd notice him? We asked. The Keeper has given her leave. Then let us make haste while daylight lasts. 